If your recipe calls for just one clove of garlic and you throw in four or five, you may want to consider growing this easy crop yourself. We'll cover everything you need to know about planting, growing, and harvesting this kitchen staple right in your own garden. We'll also share tips on growing garlic in containers and some fantastic companion plants to boost your harvest. So from bulb to plate, let's get started. There are primarily two different types of garlic, although some may consider a third option, which I will mention a bit later. Basically, you will need to choose between hardneck and softneck garlic. But no matter which type you choose, selecting healthy bulbs is the key. When buying garlic for planting, look for large bulbs with firm cloves and avoid buying any bulbs that are damaged in any way. Seed garlic can normally be found at your local garden center, feed supply store, or reputable online seed supplier. Let's start with soft neck garlic. This type is well adapted to warmer or milder climates and desired for long storage. In fact, most of the garlic found in the grocery store is soft neck. Compared to the hard neck types, you'll find more cloves per bulb and a tightly wrapped paper-like skin, which helps to preserve the freshness, possibly up to eight months. Here is a list of some of the most common soft neck varieties used for planting. Hard neck garlic, on the other hand, is considered a bit easier to grow and well adapted to cooler climates. Their skins are a bit thicker and have fewer but larger cloves when compared to the soft neck types, making them easier to peel. Hard necks get their name from a unique characteristic. They send out a flowering stem or scape that turns hard and woody. This flower stalk can actually be harvested and used in cooking. Shown is a list of the most common types of hard neck garlic for your garden. The third option I mentioned earlier is elephant garlic. It is a member of the onion family, but it is more closely related to the leek. It has very large bulbs with very few cloves and a mellow onion garlic flavor. You do have one other option if you're unable to find seed garlic, and that option is your local grocery store. So can you really grow supermarket garlic? The short answer is yes, especially if you have a bulb or clove in the pantry that has already begun to sprout. However, many grocery store garlic bulbs may have been treated to prevent sprouting. If you're able to purchase organically grown garlic from the supermarket or local farmer's market, you may have better luck. It never hurts to just plunk one in the dirt and see what happens. Garlic isn't the only store-bought plant that can be regrown. Learn more about reusing, repurposing, and recycling other types of kitchen waste with the link in the description below. No matter which type you choose, we suggest growing a wide variety of types and flavors until you find the right fit for you. Now let's talk about planting. Garlic is very easy to plant, but before we even dig a hole, we need to determine the best time to plant garlic. Garlic is typically planted in the fall, about four to six weeks before the first frost date. This allows the cloves to establish roots before winter. Growers in warmer climates may need to wait a bit longer into the fall or chill their bulbs before planting. First, it is best to pick a planting spot that receives full sun. This means at least six hours per day, but preferably eight to 10 hours of sunlight per day. Next, you will need to properly prepare the soil. Garlic requires soil that is not only well-drained, but supplemented with organic matter such as compost. Not only will compost help with the texture of the soil, but it will provide essential nutrients for the plant throughout the fall and into spring. After amending the soil, prepare the planting bed by digging holes that are two inches deep and four to six inches apart. Each row should be roughly six to nine inches apart or more. Gently break apart the bulb into individual cloves just before planting. Leave the papery skin intact on each clove. Plant the individual cloves two inches deep with the pointed end up. Cover the tip with soil and apply a three inch layer of mulch to help retain moisture and regulate the soil's temperature. After the cloves have been planted, water well. As your garlic grows, keep the soil moist, but not waterlogged. And now we just wait until new growth develops. Garlic is a heavy feeder, so additional nutrients should be provided to enjoy the best crop possible. Amending the soil at planting time is a great start with an additional layer of compost as a side dressing in the spring. A natural or synthetic fertilizer can also be provided up until the bulbs begin to swell late in the spring. 
Keeping the area weed free also helps to concentrate any available nutrients right to the garlic. If you're not blessed with spacious garden space, you can still enjoy the wonderful benefits of fresh garlic in containers on your balcony or patio. Select a deep container with drainage holes. You can choose something decorative or even a simple five gallon nursery container will do. The container needs to be big enough to leave six inches of space between the cloves. Add a combination of well-draining potty mix and compost, then plant the garlic as described previously. You can also plant a short-term crop on top, such as lettuce or spinach, then cover the top of the soil with a layer of mulch. Set the container in a spot that receives lots of sunlight and water when the top inch of soil feels dry. To maximize your yield, consider planting garlic alongside companion plants. These combinations can help deter pests and make the most of your garden space. Because of its many benefits, the list of plants that grow well with garlic is long and includes favorites such as tomatoes, peppers, and herbs such as basil, oregano, and dill. For example, lettuce and spinach can be planted between garlic rows, benefiting from the shade as the garlic grows taller. And the smell of garlic can even drive away rabbits and deer. So if your garden suffers from damage from wildlife, try planting garlic next season. With all of its benefits, there are actually some plants that suffer when planted near garlic. Be sure to keep asparagus, peas, beans, sage, and parsley far away from it as their growth can become stunted. There is something so satisfying about watching those green garlic shoots grow, but eventually your crop will need to be harvested. Garlic is usually ready when about half of the leaves have turned brown, but instead of pulling the garlic all up at once, it is best to test just one bulb for maturity. Once your crop is fully ready to harvest, lift the bulbs, shake off the excess soil, and trim the roots if needed. Allow them to cure by hanging them in a cool, dry place for a few weeks. Avoid direct sunlight and allow the outer layers of skin to dry and harden. Once your garlic has been cured, it is time to store it for later use. Store your garlic in a cool, dark place that is well ventilated. A mesh bag, wooden crate, or hanging basket all work well. Properly cured and stored garlic should hold for five to eight months. So there you have it, the basics of growing and harvesting fresh garlic right at your own home. Before we go, we wanted to share another use for garlic that could benefit your entire garden. Did you know that you can turn garlic, water, and a bit of dish soap into a simple, low-cost, non-toxic insect spray? This homemade garlic spray helps to deter unwelcome garden pests, such as aphids, slugs, whiteflies, and more. There are many recipes to be found on the internet, but the basic recipe and instructions for garlic spray can be found in the description below. From selecting the right garlic to planting, growing, and harvesting, congratulations, you are now a garlic guru. This rewarding experience can lead to a bountiful harvest and a healthier garden overall. If you've tried to grow garlic yourself, share your experiences in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today and happy gardening.